did you notice they left the Cabot Tower star shining? I did, I can actually see it from my house. When I wake up in the morning, it's the first light I see is that star. Normally, we, we, the star would we'd be off all Christmas Day, but we've got a lot of uh, comments from people asking if we can keep the star on a little bit longer, much as we did during the start of the pandemic. Uh, I guess they see it as, a, as kind of a, a symbol of hope, but also of light and you know, kind of the darkest time of the year. Based on that and the input that we've gotten from people online, uh, we've decided that we're going to leave it on for at least until the end of January. It makes people feel happy because it is such a, a bright symbol. You can see us from so far in the city. Well, last year we started the lighted walk here at Manuel's River. It's something that we wanted to do for a while, but as we grew, drew into Christmas and uh, the new year, uh, things took a, a really sad turn with COVID. And of course, we are where we are now with it and it's affecting so many people. And we thought uh, this year, instead of taking the lights down, that we would extend them for a week or so. Since then, uh, we have chatted as a uh, council and have agreed that these lights here will now stay on not only through this week, but will actually be extended through February 20th. How did you guys enjoy the lighted walk this evening? Oh, really cool. During COVID, it's nice to have the lights on. Yeah. 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 They enjoy it. A little bit extra This was joy. her idea to come tonight, eh? <laughs> Some other seasonal light displays will be brightening up our lives a little while longer. Here in St. John's, the Bowering Park Festival of Music and Lights was scheduled to go dark on January 6th. Instead, this and other city light displays are staying lit until January 31st. I think it's a sign of encouragement to dig deep and keep going and do what we can to keep each other safe, for sure.